Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to help you figure out what X is. So it says, solve for X. Assume that lines which appear to be tangent are tangent. So let's look at this diagram right here. And uh, they give us two tangent lines. So what we're going to use is the tangent tangent theorem or the two tangents theorem. Uh, and that just tells us that uh, whenever you have two lines that intersect each other that are tangent lines, they're congruent. So what you can do is you can write 2x minus 10 is equal to x plus 1. Um, and if you're wondering, hey, how do you know that they're congruent to each other? Uh, watch the previous video and I'll show you the proof of the two tangents theorem. If not, just take my word for it. Uh, so, uh, but just for your own sake, watch the video because it'll make you smarter and you want to be smart. Uh, so, um, so yeah, we can set these two equal each other because of the two tangents theorem. And you may be asking yourself, what do I do with a 6.2? Oh my gosh, there's a 6.2. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Because this is probably 6.2, so I have to do something. No, for this one, since you, you're you just trying to figure out what X is, and X is um, just these two sides that goes to these two sides, um, yeah, just set them equal to each other. You can ignore the 6.2. Um, so let's just do some algebra. Uh, let's add this 10 to both sides. And let's subtract this x to both sides. So 2x minus x is just x. 1 plus 10 is equal to 11. There you go. And that's simple. So when you're trying to find x for two tangent lines that give you the lengths of the two tangent lines, just set them equal to each other. And you can ignore what you don't need. Let me show you another example uh, for this. Let's look at this one. The points K and M are points of tangency. Find the value of X. So again, we have two tangent lines. Uh, they give us uh, information about the lengths of those two tangent lines. So let's figure out what the value of X is. So from the two tangents theorem, we know that these two tangent segments or uh, yeah segments are congruent to each other so we could put a tick mark there and there and just set them equal to each other so 3x squared minus 10 is equal to 17 and don't get intimidated because there's a square there it's okay um there's a few ways to do this well let's do the shortest and the fastest and hopefully the easiest way let's take this negative 10 Let's add it to both sides. 17 plus 10 is uh, 27. And I was counting with my fingers and we'll bring down that three X squared. This three is multiplying the X squared. So opposite of multiplication is division. So we wanna get rid of that three. So we'll divide it on both sides. 27 divided by three is hmm, nine is equal to x squared. And we wanna get this x by itself. So, and the last step is opposite of squaring something is square rooting. So let's square root that. So x equals now, you may be tempted. Uh, what's the square of nine? You're gonna say three. But there's another number that if you multiply it by itself, you would get nine. And it's not just positive three, but it's also negative three so x equals three and negative three sometimes uh or your teacher or your your book may give you the the answer that that looks like this now you're asking yourself wait a minute uh i purposely you're saying hey i'm pretty smart i purposely didn't include that negative three because you can't have a negative length when you have segments um, good, you are smart for thinking that way, good job. Uh, but for this problem right here, that negative is fine because if we plugged in that negative into here, so let's, so yeah, let's plug in that negative. So three times negative three squared minus 10. Uh, so negative three squared is positive nine. Uh, so three times positive nine minus 10. Uh, would be 27, 27 minus 10 would equal 17. So uh, positive 17. So even, and then if you plugged in the positive three, you would still get that same answer. 17 is equal to 17. So um, when you're in doubt of whether to include the, th the negative three or even the positive three, 
plug both answers in to make sure both of them work and then they, they show that both segments are equal to each other. So here you go. Your answer is plus or minus three or you could write it as three and negative three. Uh, yeah, so there's the, the two tangents theorem or the tangent tangent theorem that two tangents that intersect each other are equal. They have equal measures, they're congruent to each other, so set them equal to each other. There you go. Have a great day. Bye.